welcome to our channel cuties and as you cuties know holiday is coming soon and i'm pretty sure this year the holiday will be a little bit different than usual but that but doesn't that mean we can't celebrate it we're done yeah <laughs> so in today's video we're gonna become a barista for one day uh -huh. and we'll try to create different drinks that perhaps you guys can share with your families during holiday for celebration mm -hmm. and also these drinks we might be able to put it in our future cafe because yes. if you kids are new to our channel one of our long-term goals mm -hmm. is to create our own cafe and actually right now we have been looking for a location with mama cookie since last year but it's quite hard to find a good location. Yeah, the real estate is kind of fucked up in Seoul right now yeah, because of the corona. So. And also, like, we're thinking, like, should we put our cafe in Seoul where you could just can easily get access to it when you come to Korea? Or should we put it in Jeju, Jeju Island? Island? Like, that would be a dream to put in Jeju Island. Like, I gravitate more towards opening a cafe in Jeju Island, but that means not every cutie can have access to and it. And also, we have to go to Jeju. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna live in Jeju I like Solar, I like Solar Man. Man. By the way, this video is a collaboration with Farfish, but a quick disclaimer, we're not getting paid by Farfish to make this video, but they did give us a credit for us to kind of shop at Farfetch. Farfetch is a luxury boutique online shop where you can get access to all different types of global designer brands from heritage labels to emerging brands. As you kids know, we love Farfetch because they have so many wide selection of things to shop there. Yeah. And also their shipping is freaking fast. Yeah. And also they support a lot of small businesses. Yeah. Small business that don't have an online presence mm -hmm. or have an opportunity to sell through their platform. Yes. That is really important, especially in times like these days, pandemic, a lot of you know fashion brands are having a hard time so we also wanted to take in part to help small businesses so at the end of the video we're going to introduce one korean designer brand the name is song ji oh and it's actually the one that we're wearing right now and farfetch also take extra steps to become more environmentally conscious by for example they have vintage pre-owned selections on their website where fashion items can have an opportunity to be rediscovered by new owners rather than being discarded and also in farfetch you were able to find clothing with labels that is labeled positively conscious which basically mean it either has been rated well by good on you or the materials were made with materials that are widely recognized as being very conscious also farfish was again so kind of to give our cuties a 10 percent discount code right over here yes and this is valid until november 16th so if you have plans to buy like you know christmas gifts ahead yeah, yeah. this is a perfect chance yeah so we got a bunch of like <laughs> this is like our early yeah. Christmas gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are two fashion items and the rest of them is a kitchenware. Let's do our fashion item first, sister, because I heard you know I'll bust my shoe. No, let's do cups cups first. Because this video is all about, you know, cafe and stuff, right? Like when we get a cafe, like our uh, cups and like little utensils are not going to be like, you know, a regular ones, but... <laughs> but it's gonna be like really, really pretty cute one. Oh my god! What is this? The, the, the cake, the cake <gasps> thingy. Yeah. Oh my god! I always dreamed of having this a uh, cake, cake Plate? dish. <gasps> oh my god! Wow, it's a glass, sister. Yeah, this is so oh pretty. Holy shit! Imagine having a crepe cake right here. So in all of our cafe, we're gonna um like display our cakes and pastries inside these kind of like pretty little glasses. Get <laughs> <laughs> it! Oh my god, La Double G! Oh my god, with a gold rim! Isn't this like perfect holiday dish? Yeah. Reddish with gold. I'm gonna be a cafe CEO in the future. I gotta experiment with a lot of like coffee maker, right? <laughs> I got another coffee maker, but this one looks really interesting and I literally have to go to YouTube to see how it is used. Sister, before buying a bunch of coffee maker, why don't you try making the coffee taste good? That's why I got a new grinder, motherfucker. And we got a cup. So you put like yogurt and granola and some like, you know, strawberry syrup. Yeah. And then oh. maybe like top it off with like little figs and stuff. Oh. <gasps> What is this? So this one has a package of four cups inside. They look really interesting. Da -da 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 wow! wow. <laughs> I didn't drink here, sis. So I mean, <laughs> it's part of presentation. Yeah. yeah. It kind of looks like measuring cup. 
These are cute. It's really <gasps> cute. I want to make something here. This yeah. is really nice. Copenhagen! Yeah. Oh my god, I so want to go here. Display plate. Oh, it's so heavy. Yeah, because it's made out of um, marble. marble. Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? So literally marble, guys. Yeah. The vase. It's a vase. I don't know. I love vase. Although I, I kill all the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this so, so pretty? pretty? It has a little bit of texture. Oh, it's like coarse. Yeah. I love the color. It's a oh, very neutral really tone. Pretty. And these ones that we're gonna show is actually something that we loaned from Farfetch. Yeah. We have to give it back. Yeah. These are from a brand called Seleti. And they use this method of kin kinsugi. Yeah. When the dishes break, yeah. it's a way of attaching it. So they fuse like gold between the break point and they yeah. fuse together. Either. And these gold are real gold, 24k, 24K gold. gold. They also have cups, a mug, so cute. Again, there's like a gold rim yeah. here. Drink some bad cup. <laughs> so Kiwan got her one boots. I got myself one bag. Oh my god. This is our first time having an MC and bag. bag. That is so pretty, man. Yeah. Ta da! With a shoulder strap. I got this because, again, I need a big bag where I can put all my cameras yeah. and phones and everything. Yeah. It's my new hip sack. Oh, that's pretty. Right? Yeah, I love the color. Yeah. So for me, I got boots and I got from a brand called N21. <gasps> Holy oh, shit! shit. Oh, my God. Wow, it's better in real life. It was really light. Wow. So hold it. Oh my, whoa, oh, so light. I was expecting a super yeah, heavy. heavy. It's, it's kind of greenish. Yeah, it's not black. <gasps> they have black one too, but but this is way much pretty. Yeah, I want to be a little unique, so I got a little greenish color. Oh my god, look, look at this. this. Oh my god, can I wear this too? Wait, can I wear your bag? No. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. shit. Oh my god, that is so that cute. Is so pretty. Oh, that is wow. so pretty. That's a horrible moonwalk, <laughs> bitch. Hi, Kitty. So this is Kitchen. Um, I'll be hosting this section of the video by myself because Kiran is quite busy. So before we start anything, we need to prepare the ice overnight. It's gonna be a colorful ice. So we're gonna use a food coloring. By the way, cuties, we won't be using these artificial color dye for our future cafe. Just for this uh, video, we are using a artificial color dye because we don't have much time. Yes, but we will be using a vegetable dye for all of our colors in our cafe. Just to let you know. We got this ice tray from Yes Style. You can create a circular, a huge circular ice with this. This tray, we got it from Taizo. Basically, you can create a small little circular ice. So I'm pretty sure we'll need only a few drops. Now we need blue to make it purple. Oh, that is such a pretty color. That is purple? Yes. This is purple. It looks like black. So we got this apron to be a little more barista-ish. I wanna look a little more professional. Me too, bitch. So for this, uh, you need a lemon, mm -hmm. a rosemary, mm -hmm. a little circular ice, and some water, obviously, mm -hmm. a honey, mm -hmm. sparkling water. Oh, okay. I will save this for later. Okay. I'll just use the fucked up one. Okay. A little thin slice of Maybe lemon. two slices. So one there, yep. And then put the ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh my god, that's already so pretty, man. Yeah. Don't you need to squeeze the lemon, sister? The lemon juice? Do you know where's the squeezer? No. <laughs> so I didn't know we had this, kitties. <laughs> yeah, this bitch doesn't know anything about kitchen. 
Yeah, it's coming out. <gasps> yes! So, 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 so. So, where's the spoon? Oh! <laughs> no, you're supposed to. Oh, you're yeah. supposed to put it there? Yeah. I thought you were supposed to put in the lemon. Now you top it up with, with rosemary. Ta da! Yay! Mmm. But I should put more honey. Should be a little more sweeter. Yeah. It would have been better if you mixed the honey on here and then poured it. Because you put the honey on top of the ice, I'm pretty sure the honey's root like all solidify, solidify around the ice. So it's oh, not yeah, that's that. true. Yeah. Friendship. Put it here. So the menu for today is pumpkin spice latte. So for this one, the ingredients that you need is sugar, mm -hmm. and you also need Soup. pumpkin puree, and you also need vanilla extract. You need a ginger powder, cinnamon powder. I didn't know about this, but it's called what a nutmeg. Nutmeg. It's a spice. This is for creating a uh, pumpkin spice. Oh, really? You'll know once you uh, smell, it. smell it. It smells like curry. So you need some coffee. Mm -hmm. And I got a new coffee grinder since my sister said my coffee tastes like shit. And I'm gonna use this today. These okay. drinks should not take more than 10 minutes because your customers are waiting, sister. Oh, okay, customer, please wait. Hold on, check it, hold on. Is this for one serving? No, right? Two serving, I think. Two serving. One, two. two. And then I need one tablespoon of sugar. Oh, man. Yeah, and then you boil this. Inside here is where you have to put the water. Ta-da! Mm, oh my god! <gasps> wow, oh, it smells good. so good. Okay. Like that. Put that back in. Then uh, close it. And then once it starts boiling, oh, they're gonna rise yeah, up. Yeah, the water's gonna rise up. Two spoons, Two spoons of pumpkin puree. Mm. I'm gonna put a little drops of vanilla extract. Oh, that's a lot. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon of cinnamon powder, uh, one teaspoon of ginger powder. And then you have to put a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Do you smell it? That little spice? Mm. That like spiciness? Mm. Now that's the mystery. I was always wondering where that little like, hint of spiciness comes from. Okay. One and two. Yep. So we drained it once so that there's no like little bits and bits of it. Yeah, the crumbs. Yeah. Ooh, the shots. And the coffee. Oh, we got the whipping cream. This is actually legit our first time buying a whipping cream. Yeah. To celebrate, I'm gonna do this one. I always wanna do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So I have a cinnamon stick. That? Wow. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why? So good. It just like warms my entire soul. Drink it. <gasps> so good, right? Oh my god. So next drink is a butterfly pea flower tea. So we had no idea, but at our house we had this butterfly pea flower. The first time we tasted butterfly pea tea was at Puckett. Yes, in Thailand. Yeah. We were like, oh my god, the color is so pretty. And then the name was butterfly. We we're like, oh, we drink butterfly. 
butterfly. And we're gonna hurry boil this. Her sister, how do you work this machine? <laughs> Darker. Oh, it's done. Our butterfly pea juice is ready. Wow, so blue, right? So, so you gotta chill. Oh, it's still a little hot. Oh, shit, it's hot. You need orange. And then you need, again, a honey and a lemon jest and a sparkling water. When there's cafe, I won't be in the kitchen. I'll yeah, be like serving cheese. Yeah, you should never be inside the kitchen. Yeah. Put the lemon honey GS inside here. Well, that's a really pretty color. Right? Oh, look at the <gasps> Yeah, the, I told you we need a longer cup. It doesn't work for the short one because the color got to mix. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so this is fail, so I will try in this cup. Oh, yeah. So for this time, we're gonna make a chocolate syrup vanilla ice cream milk drink. We need a cocoa powder, sugar, hot water, and vanilla ice cream and milk. That's pretty much it. So first, we're gonna make the syrup. I'm not using a store bought syrup. I'm making a syrup myself. We're gonna put one tablespoon of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of sugar, two half a tablespoon of, of water, hot, hot water. Mix it. Mix it. Mm. Ooh, honey. Okay. Oh, circle, oh, circle. Oh, circle. Oh, yes, perfect, perfect. Oh, ooh, that is pretty. The concentration face. Woo! The milk. Okay. <gasps> that much? Float. What I think you should have done, yeah. put the ice cream first and then put the milk. Okay, this is a fail, cuties. The reason why it's a little fucked up is because I forgot to put the ice. So something like, like this. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is totally fucked up, yeah. Uh, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> I mean, orange is gonna be good. Oh! Yeah, it's like sugar rush, right? No, no. Oh my god! So the, all the drinks were success except for a few of them, which I think it needs some like alteration in terms of the. And we're just gonna drop it. Yeah, drop it. Yeah, yeah drop it. Yeah, so who knows? This will go to our menu and we can all drink it together in our future cafe. Mm. So, as 
promise, we'll be introducing one Korean designer brand, Songjiyo. So Songjiyo brand also has a sub brand called Zero. And this brand is a little more like casual and a little more approachable than the main brand. All of their clothing has these little baby panther patches. Yeah, this actually came with one of the Oh, clothing. this clothing come with this. Yeah. It's so cute. So they say that this is inspired by a French film director. His name is Jack Thorne. Jack Thorne. <laughs> it's so hard to pronounce his name, but his film called Cat People. So the one so that yeah. Q1 was wearing the whole time was these two yeah. pieces. So I got this like a plaid check yeah. shirt, this which is really oversized, and this is kind of like a felty material, yeah. so it's really warm. Like an oversized sweatshirt. Sweat, yeah. so this is really, really warm. Yeah, this is super warm. Yeah. And the elbow, has all of your sweatshirt has this little patch on yeah. the elbow. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think the combination of this and this color was really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. And the one that I was wearing during the whole cooking scene was yeah. this one. A hoodie. Super comfy. Yes. I love it. Oversized. Yeah. And again, it has a little baby panther right here. Mm -hmm. And even this drawstring is really high quality. Yeah. Look at the heavy. Oh, it is. And the next one that I wore is this cute little cardigan. Mm -hmm. This is very light. Oversized. Yeah, it's oversized and it has a little cute. cat again. Yeah, you can so just fun. wear it with the t-shirt like Kiwan did or just wear it with this. Yeah, it'll be really cute. Like this together yeah. if you want a little pop of color. And I'm wearing this oversized oh, yeah. sweatshirt again. So this sweatshirt is way lighter than this one. So yeah. this is really comfortable. I like it. Oh, and, and there's another patchwork. Patch. I hope it came with a matching sweatpants. Oh, yeah. Really cute. And last but not least, I'm wearing a very high quality very light sweater. It's kind of sheer, so I wore like a little colored bralette and it was see through, so I changed it with the white one. And you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It yeah. was cute. Other than that, it's so light. It's really airy and it's also warm too. I yes. really like it. So if you curious are interested in this brand, we'll put the link in the description box below. And please support our Korean designer yeah. brand. This brand is really nice. Oh, yes. Gio, is that all? So once again, cuties, we have a 10% farfetch discount code right over here. And this will last until November the 16th. The Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday season is coming. So mm -hmm. if you have planned to buy a gift for your yeah. loved ones, make sure you use this. And cuties, I just thought about it. What should we name our cafe? <gasps> That's like the most important thing, sister. Comment down below, kitties. What yeah. should we name our cafe? Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll, we'll see, see you guys, guys tomorrow. Bye bye.